I pre-ordered the M1 Max right when it was announced and was lucky enough to be one of the first to get my hands on it just a few months ago. This laptop and chipset has been absolutely awesome and Apple has really knocked it out of the park with this one, but there has been one issue that basically all Apple laptops have had and this one has it too. And I'm calling it an issue, but Apple would say it's a feature. My problem with this laptop is that under sustained loads like video editing or gaming or whatever, Apple lets the chip get un necessarily hot and they do this while leaving the fans completely off or only at idling speeds. Of course the trade-off is if the fans are low then the fan noise is low but then the computer is running hot. Apple prefers to keep things quiet and hot and I would prefer more of a balance between the two. Not too hot and not too loud. Maybe I'm just weird but I don't like to see my processor at 95 degrees Celsius with the fans idling so I took matters into my own hands. It's been shown that running Running laptops at high temperatures for long periods of time will reduce the overall lifespan of the laptop. And I want this MacBook to last as long as possible because, well, it's really expensive. That's where this little app comes in. TG Pro is a handy piece of software that allows you to set your own custom fan curve to keep the thermals where you want them. If you want the absolute lowest temps and you don't care about noise, you can manually set the fans to full, which turns on the jet engine. I personally don't ever do that, it's just too loud. My main use case that I leave on almost all the time is this. I change the fan speed to a custom sensor-based value, which basically just makes the fans turn on sooner and run faster than Apple's default fan. Fan curve. You can obviously set your temp range to whatever you're like and I recommend playing around with it. Just a word of caution, whenever you're messing around with settings like this, there is some inherent danger so use the software at your own risk. If you were to example set the fans to not even turn on until 99 degrees, you could cause your laptop to fail prematurely from excess heat. Another potential downside is that if the fans are on more often and faster, there is a chance the fans themselves fail earlier in their life than when using Apple's own fan curve. That being said, as long as you're being careful, I think this is a relatively safe software to test out. The most impressive part for me has been that even when I'm pushing the CPU and GPU hard, such as in 4K video editing, with this fan curve, I've never seen the temps get above 70 degrees, which is something I've never been able to do with MacBooks of the past. With Apple's default settings, when running sustained benchmarks, the CPU would be running at 95 degrees while the fans were nearly idling. And while at idle, the fans really are inaudible, I don't want my CPU to run that hot. With this new custom fan curve I made, which feel free to copy for yourself, in those same sustained benchmarks, the CPU was staying right around 70 degrees, and the fans are on about half speed, which is audible, but it's not so loud it's annoying, at least for me. So, with TG Pro and a little bit of tinkering, you can have your sustained CPU load temperatures go from 95 degrees to 70 degrees with a relatively minimal increase in fan noise. That is absolutely insane to me. I've used a lot of MacBooks in the past, and in all the larger ones, even with the fans on full blast, they'd be thermally throttling at 100 degrees. This is the first MacBook I've used that not only can keep its temperatures reasonable, but can do it without maxing out the fans, which is amazing. So I'd recommend this software to anyone who uses their MacBook Pros for sustained workloads and wants them to last as long as possible. If you have any questions or want me to run more tests, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to get to it. If you found this video useful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. All right, take it easy, everyone.